Hey, Eddie from the Batcave here. How's everybody doing this week? I'm gonna show you my post pretty, pretty short, but I got a mail call from Midtown, so let's get going. But first, um, Detective Comics, uh, Night Terrors. So I'm gonna review this real quick, issue one and two. I read this because under your guys' suggestions and um, it wasn't a bad read at all. Reading about Gordon's dreams and all that, it was, you felt like you were part of the dream. The scary part, you know, you have one of those bad moments in your dreams and things are coming out at you or when you want to run but you can't run and the thing's getting closer to you from behind and you're trying to run faster and you're breathing hard. Yeah, it made me feel that. So I did enjoy Night Terror's Detective 1 and 2. Uh, I don't know what to say, but it was good. So if you see this out there, you know, pick it up. You won't be disappointed. I mean, I did enjoy it. It's, it's like I said, it made me feel like I was part of this dream. All right. Again, my opinion, of course. All right. So new this week, Batman, Catwoman, the Gotham War, the battle lines are drawn. I read this before I came on. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Batman just woke up from the, the nights of terror thing that's going on. Gotham's been pretty quiet, pretty quiet. Uh, the only thing that's been going on was like robbery. No mugging, no killing. Well, Batman's asleep, but who's behind it? And why? It tells you in here. And uh, yeah, I enjoy the story. Can't wait for the next issue and the whole thing that's going to be going on on each of the Batman titles. So yeah, that's good. Was not disappointed with this. All right. Since I cannot afford the book itself, I end up getting a replica. Giant Side or facsimile, whatever they call it. Giant Size X-Men, number one. Yeah. I think I had this a while back when I was younger. It's lost somewhere. But yeah, can't afford the real deal. Let's get a replica. And it also has all the original uh, pages, commercial. The commercial. Oh, yeah, look at Count Dante. You want to learn karate? Or there we go. So yeah, can't, I'm excited. Can't wait to reread this again. All right, got that. Also, a facsimile edition of Wonder Woman, but I got the shiny stuff. Wonder Woman 1, George Perez. Excuse the glare. I do have the original one, but I couldn't pass this up. Look at that shiny. Yeah, my local comic book dealer, Carl, just convinced me that, you know, I got suckered in. That's what it was. Look at that beauty. Yeah. Also, what's hot out there, Conan number two. I have not read the first issue, but yet they're telling me it was a great issue. So I ended up picking number two. They had a variant cover out there. It was like a black and white sketch one. Almost got it. Almost got it. But I got to read number one first, but they say it was uh, pretty awesome. So I got number two. All right. All right. Let's continue now with my Midtown. They had a sale going on. 75% off and stuff like that of stories. Well, folks, let's see what I have to show you. All right, let's start off. I got Batman, Sh uh, Shadow Man, well, The Shadow and Batman, number one, the J variant cover. Got that. Most of these were cover buys. The Shadow, number one, from Dynamite Entertainment. This is Neil Adams, right? Yeah, Neil, Neil Adams. Secret Empire variant Alex Ross generation. Oh, that's a sweet cover. Excuse the glare, guys. I'm gonna do it this way. Lone Ranger Snake of Iron number one. Okay. Batman the Shadow the the C variant the C cover. You know, I think I got this one. Gotta check my list. Batman the Avenger season three. I got the Ben Stapleton, Ben, I'm sorry, Temple Smith villain card stock variant. All these were, some of these were like $1.50, $1.38, but when, when you throw in the shipping cost, it ends up to be $2.60. So did I make out? I don't know, I think I did. Gary B, I wonder if you have this. Res Sanja and Tarzan, number one. I got the J. Lee cover. 
not particularly caring for the cover, but I didn't know that Sonya teamed up with uh, Tarzan. So can't wait to read that. History of the DC Universe, Marv Wolfman and George Perez. I have this already, but I do not have the Alex Ross variant cover. Look at that. Just love the way the Batman and the Trinity there, right? Let's see, we got Avengers Volume 6, number one. Yeah. Avengers number seven, volu uh, Volume 7, number 10, issue 700. Uh, who's this? Alan Davis cover, I'm sorry. Detective Con 1000 landmark issue. I already have this, but it was on sale. I'm gonna pass it up. I'm gonna pass it up. The Django and Zorro, which I don't remember picking up, but I got it. Batman Avengers Continue Season 3, number one cover C variant. Like I said, it was a cover by. Look at that. And the artwork is by Steve Biak. I think he was doing the Superman covers. Excuse the glare. I'm sorry about that. And of course, last but not least, Green Arrow Volume 7, issue number 5, variant cover by Neil Adams. That's it. All right. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's it. All right, guys. That's all I have for you. Anything you want to talk about, you give me a holler, you let me know. As always from the Batcave, this is Eddie Nieves. See ya.